Hey guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. I want to do a video today on a fire starting product by Charbroil called Sure to Burn Fire Starting Packs. And these packs I've had for about a year. I didn't really give them much thought until I saw a video uh, by Hiram Cook recently. Uh, there's 12 packs in this box, and I think it's around $4.00 for the box. You can get them in Home Depot or Lowe's, hardware stores, any place that sells um, you know barbecue products. And so the packs look like this when they're sealed. It just look, looks like a little clear plastic or foil type pack and inside is like a solid white substance. It, it, it almost looks like if you're familiar with wet fire it looks like that but it's a little more uh, shinier and waxier. I'll show you what it uh, looks like when it's opened. I've been experimenting with this um, like Hiram Cook did on his channel and one of these packs if you take it out in the field with you or put it in your backpack you could get many many fires out of it. And I'll show you what I mean. I had this pack here ripped open now for about three weeks and I've been using little pieces of this substance out of this bag here. So what I'm going to do today is show you what I'm talking about. If I wanted to start a fire and use this as my base, I simply would pull a piece out. You don't even need a piece this big, but I'm just going to use this for the video today. Now, mind you, this has been open for three weeks in this pack and sitting in my garage. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to light it with a fire steel. And but what I'm going to do first, just to make sure it lights is I'm just going to rough it up a little bit with my knife. I don't know if you could see that. I'm just roughing it up a little and getting a little um, making the top of it into a little piece of powder. Pieces of powder. Now this should light when I hit it with the fire steel. Let's see. Okay. So you set your area, you set your piece up, have your fire steel, your knife. I'm using the Bear Grylls uh, Gerber knife and fire steel that comes together as a kit. Um, and now we'll attempt to light this. And then once it's lit, it stays lit for a while. There you go. Let's time it. Yeah, I just started the timer. Now. If you had your kit, your your wood already and stacked up, you could start your fire very easily. Now this is a pack, remember, that's been open now for three weeks. So it's been exposed to the air, the atmosphere, and it still lights. When they're fresh, they light even better. Um, so one of these packs in each of your go bags or your kits will be an excellent backup fire starting uh, solution for you. And these things burn pretty good. And you saw that piece was only about the size of, uh, you know, my thumbnail. And it's burning. You could actually blow it out and relight it also. Um, we're working on a minute already uh, with the stopwatch. So this is burning good for a minute. You could easily get a fire started with this. It burns a real nice flame. And I was pretty impressed when I saw Hiram Cook do uh, his... Um, review of this product. I didn't give it much thought, but I did have it in my uh, supplies. I just never tried them, tried them out. They're a lot less money than the Surefire, little Surefire cubes that you buy. Um, I think it's a worthwhile product, and I think uh, everybody should have at least a dozen of these uh, as backup fire starting. In the Charbroil Sure to Burn fire starting packs. Excellent source for fire lighting. We're going on a minute and 45 seconds already and that's still burning strong. So, you know, let me know if you guys have ever used this or if you've heard of it and uh, send me some emails or PMs. Let me know what's going on. This is the Gerber Bear Grylls Gerber knife, an excellent knife. It's got everything you need in one knife. Your fire steel is attached. 
your knife is secured in here. You have a whistle on the end here, and you also have a sharpening stone here. So you've got everything you need on board here in one little knife. It's just a really good knife and it's not real heavy. There's a lot of reviews of this knife online also. So there you go. This is still going. It's just about going out now. we got 2 minutes and 45 seconds. 2 minutes and 45 seconds for a, a, a piece the size of a thumbnail. Thanks for tuning in.